Hello and welcome to Ahmed Coaching and this is your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about the structure of roots. Here in this diagram you can see this is a plant which has flowers, this green part here leaf and these flowers and leaf they are attached with stem which are the outer part of the plant. If we talk about the root, root is actually the underground part of the plant which is present inside the soil. The roots they are light brown to black in color. Now why the color of root is brown or black not green like stem? The reason is because they are not exposed to the light and they lack chlorophyll. In other words their function is not to prepare food so they do not contain any chlorophyll because of the absence of chlorophyll the color of the root is brown or black the main function of root is that they anchor the plant in the soil just like the metal which is used to anchor the boat in the water this is the anchor which is used in the boats or in the ships so that the ship it can stay in the water and it is not drifted away similarly the roots they are working just like this anchor and they are making the plant to stay at one place and not allowing it to drift away for example if there is a heavy rain or there is a wind both these things they can both these things they can take the plant away from the soil so to avoid these things the root they are present Another important function of root is that they absorb water and salts from the soil. Along with this, they provide conducting tissues which is xylem and phloem for the distribution of water to the upper parts of the plant. If we talk about the internal structure of root, the root is divided into three zones zone of maturation zone of elongation and zone of cell division if we talk about the zone of maturation zone of maturation is away from the tip of the root this part here it is known as zone of maturation now the cells which are present in this area they are differentiated differentiated mean that every cell know their purpose or what they are going to do so they are going to serve their functions such as protection storage and conductance the second zone is zone of elongation like the name indicates elongation that it is going to elongate or increase in the length this zone here it contains the cells which are newly formed and then they are going to increase in length and because of the increase in length of these cells the length of the root it will increase the last zone is the zone of cell division as the name indicate that it contains the cell which are actively dividing and they are undifferentiated it means that they do not know their purpose yet they are just under the phase of mitosis and they are going to divide one cell is dividing into two cell and then two into four and similarly so this is the zone of cell division if we talk about the elongated section of the root here you can see that we have for example here we have the root and then we have cut it or sliced it to see the elongated section so first of all we are going to study from inside to the outside in this manner okay so the inside part here this green part here it, it is actually xylem plus phloem in other words these are the conducting tissues in the root the conducting tissues they are grouped together in the center to form a road shape core you can see that it is like a road shape the purpose of xylem is to transport water and minerals while the purpose of phloem is to transport sugar and organic compounds to the upper part of the plant outside to the conducting tissues there is this pink part here here you can see this part this is pericycle it is a narrow layer which is thin walled okay the wall is very thin then outside to the pericycle we can see this part here light blue this one this one here this is endodermis endo mean inside dermis is actually the skin so endodermis mean inside the skin or inside skin it is a single layer of cells which is actually encircling the pericycle. Outside the endodermis, another layer of cell is present which is known as cortex. This part here, this is cortex. 
this cortex is a broad zone and it consists of large and thin walled cells you can see the structure of cell in this layer is the structure the cells they are large in size as compared to the endodermis and they are thin walled outside the cortex epidermis is present which is a single layer of cell it is also known as epidermal cells there are sometimes the extensions of epidermal cells which is known as root hairs root hair actually provide the large surface area for the absorption and they grow out in the space between the soil particles for example these are the root hairs they will extend into the soil particles and because of these root hairs the root will be able to absorb more water and salt from the soil so that was all about the structure of root if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video